This commercial is one of the hottest videos on the internet and seen by millions around the world on television. Armchair viewing redefined is how Toshiba is promoting its new flat screen TVs. But where do you find someone who can fly an armchair to the edge of space, shoot it in high definition, and recover the cameras wherever they land? Oh, it just sounded like a fun mission. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do balloon fill. Toshiba turned to a Sacramento man with years of experience flying science experiments high above the Earth. They mentioned a chair right in the very beginning, and the only hesitation I emailed back was that there'd be no person in the chair. John Powell runs a small aerospace company. Okay, not, not quite yet, Paul. Okay. We're getting close. He relies on the help of volunteers. Oh, I knew we could do it. JP Aerospace built the platform to carry the chair and video cameras under a large oh, helium balloon. Made it. On a weekend no, in October well. over northern Nevada, they flew an armchair to the edge of space. Not once, but four times. But the footage came out so stunning, they didn't think anyone would believe it. So they showed the real chair and us actually launching it, so people would know it's, you know, it's a real chair up there. A movie director and film crew took charge of the actual photography. The director directed Batman, one of the Batman movies, because it had a real movie production feel to it. But there was no guarantee that the cameras and this video could ever be recovered. It's a high wind and it lands 600 miles away, or it lands on a mesa you can't get to, or, or it rains and you can't fly. At 50,000 feet, it was 90 degrees below zero. Higher up, electronics can overheat because there's no air for cooling. Because sometimes a camera will freeze up during one part of the flight and melt down in another part of the flight. Space Chair survived the one and a half hour climb to 98,000 feet. It broke up on the return to Earth. The cameras and video parachuted to the ground, landing within 12 miles of the launch site. This has just been into space. And with the TV <laughs> ad campaign already booked, failure here was not an option. And literally millions of people around the world get to see our work. And so it was just, we're just real jazzed.